just imagine how wonderful it would be simply driving to the charger, pulling connector, plugging it into your vehicle, and charging would start automatically. No need for use of any cards going somewhere, paying for the charging, even reaching for your phone. You would charge and then leave. That would be like a charge. Hello, my name is Mike Kriv. I am Global Product Manager for Charging Platforms at ABB EV Charge. Today, I'm going to tell you what plug and charge is. Plug and charge name is quite self explanatory but what it actually is? Plug and charge is a way of identifying and then authorizing your vehicle for the charging services that you have bought. It holds what is called contract certificate. You could think about it as a digital passport, which holds the information about the services you have bought from your e-mobility provider. In today's story, we will be focusing mainly on the charger, how it interacts with the vehicle on one side and with the rest of the road on the other side. You will leave out of this today's story how this digital passport is issued and maintained and which ecosystem it belongs. So, let's break down plug and charge into pieces. At first, you need to have secure communication to make sure your data transferred from car to the charger is safe. For that, car need to trust the charger and charger need to have a, its kind of digital ID that is known by the car. You could think about it as a passport from the country that car could trust. So give certain level of insurance that you're dealing with a respected citizen, or in this case, charger. Now, when we have secure connection between car and the charger, car could pass its credentials to the charger. It's like showing your digital passport to the charger, so it could check if you're entitled to charge on this given charging network. But charger cannot itself verify its contract certificate. For that, it needs to forward it further to e-mobility provider backend or cloud, if you want. Let's pause here for a moment. We are talking about quite some information going back and forth. Car checking charger certificates, car sending its digital identifier further, charger forwarding it to the backend. For that, communication protocols needs to be in place. First one is ISO 15118, communication protocol between car and the charge. Remember, that one you are making secure. There is also a protocol for communication between the charger and its back-end system. It's required for the charger to forward digital credentials of the vehicle to its back-end system. What might not be obvious, it's also needed for the charger to acquire its own digital identity the one that it can be used by car to see if charger is a trusted device. For that, there is a protocol called Open Charge Point Protocol, or in short, OCPP. Now, let's put it all together. For plug and charge to work, you need to have car supporting ISO 15518 with plug and charge feature and holding valid contract certificate. You need to have a charger that have valid certificate to establish secure connection. And you need to have a protocol charger backend supporting all the information that needs to flow between charger and the backend. Now you see that plug and charge is quite complicated. It's not enough only to have car or charger supporting plug and charge. There are much more pieces of the puzzle that needs to fit together. The thing is that there are several variations of how to implement this whole plug and charge thing end to end. And these variations are not yet harmonized industry only now coming to the common ground here. ABB has been part of this process from the very beginning. We worked with all the parties involved. We gained and continue gaining experience from real-world charging sites all around the globe. We solved this puzzle together with our customers for whom plug and charge become a cornerstone of their value proposition. We are committed to extend this functionality even further so that a lot of drivers all around the world could benefit from this great charging experience. We could support even more car OEMs and charge point operators into bringing this technology further and extend it all around the globe. 
Let's build the future of e-mobility together.